Ariel Helwani in New York City following the official UFC 205 weigh-ins alongside Tiago Alves, who unfortunately missed weight today, but you are remaining on the card. You will be fighting Jim Miller tomorrow. First, a lot of talk about your lightweight debut. Didn't go as planned. Why did you miss weight? Uh, you know, unfortunately, I had a food poisoning you know, going on. Uh, I was done with that about uh, last Sunday, you know, so that took out of uh, a lot of me, you know, for the wake up, you know, my, I got around 63 and my body just shut down, you know, I couldn't lose any more weight. Uh, I did everything, you know, I possibly could, but at that point, you know, it was just uh, endangering my health, you know, and I got a family and I got a little, little boy, you know, to take care of. So, you know, uh, we decide to do, you know, what's the best for my health. When did you realize that you would not be able to make weight? Was it this morning or, or yesterday? Uh, it was about, you know, uh, I'll say mid-cut, you know, okay. when uh, I, I lost about 90 pounds, you know, and we had, you know, a, a, a good amount to go still, you know, and uh, we'll, we'll cool off a little bit, uh, we'll try to few more sessions and everything, and my body just wasn't sweating at all, you know, so... And that's when uh, I realized that right, this is going to be a little more tricky than, than I was, you know. And with my condition, you know, a week ago being, you know, with the food poison, you, you already depleted, you know. I, didn't, I, I don't like come up with excuses or anything, yeah. but it's a big show I didn't want to pull out, you know. So we called the doctors, you know, and uh, we made the, the, the best decision for my health. Did you try to change the weight after getting the food poisoning and maybe try to convince them to do this at 165 or 170? Was that ever in play? No, no, uh, you know, I'm um, so you know what, uh, I'm, I'm going to give my best yeah. and I'm going to try. I, I think I'll be fine, you know, and but unfortunately, you know, I didn't make it. Uh, my mistake, you know, I should have uh, known, I mean, I should have known, you didn't really know, you know, yeah. I, I gave my best and uh, the illness didn't help me, you know, cut the rest of it. But, you know, that's in the past now. we got to fight, so i got to focus on that now. In light of this, do you want to remain at lightweight, or will Absolutely. you go back? Absolutely. i got to sit through it, you know. Uh, I, even though we didn't get where uh, no, uh, I wanted, you know, I still got pretty below when I had difficulties before. You know, that was 170. So uh, I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for the, you know, food poisoning, the illness, I'll be able to make it without a doubt, you know. Uh, doctor advised me to stop, so... You know, I, I got to do what's best for my health and uh, still able to perform tomorrow. And to be clear, you have to give up 20 or 30 percent of your purse? I have to give up 20 percent and I can be uh, over 173. And is that a problem for you to have your weight capped? No, I was, you know, all week I've been walking around uh, 173, you know, 170. So it's not, you know, uh, the ideal, but in a lighter situation, it is what it is. How much you weigh right now? Uh, I don't know. I didn't check. Okay. You know, but uh, I think I should be around 65, 66 right now. So you're not worried about, you know, because after a weigh-in, you can just rehydrate and eat as much as you want, drink as much as you want. Now you have to actually still be sort of monitoring everything. Do you think that might affect you in the fight on Saturday? We'll see. Okay. You know, we'll Are see. you worried about this? I'm not worried. Okay. You know, uh, like I said, I've been walking around uh, 73, you know, 75 was my heaviest. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, 73, I got to be 73 at 4 p.m. Then we still got, you know, a little ways okay. to go. So, you know, uh, I talk with uh, perfecting athletes. They say it's no problem. We can get you, you know, uh, 100%. That's why I decided to do it. And last thing, I would be remiss if I, don't, if I don't bring this up. Of course, you told us earlier this week that you're no longer working with Mike Dolce. And now a lot of the talk is, had you remained with him, you would have made weight. Uh, we've heard from him as well. And, you know, I'm sure it's, it's a disappointing day for you. But do you think being with Mike would have prevented this from happening? Uh, I don't think it was, you know, Mike or perfecting an athlete's issue. You know, it was the fact that I got sick. You know, and it doesn't matter, you know, who I was working with, my body, you know, shut down. You know, uh, different people, you know, different methods, you know, but uh, the bottom line is, you know, it was the illness, unfortunately. So, you know, uh, um, I'm still going to come to fight. I'm still going to bring everything I got, you know, and uh, the plan is still be a lightweight. Appreciate the time. Hope you feel better. And, of course, good luck tomorrow. Thank you.